Okay, everything is set and everything is recording. Oh, what's up all my dragonlings? I am the dragon, got a game in Damien Dragon. Welcome back to Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Now we're gonna go back in. We the last time we were here, we were I'm going up red tooth. It's top littered with me. You know, I hate being interrupted during my intro. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Alan Wake's American Nightmare. The last time we left off is we are at the observatory again. Because we got deja vu. For some fucking reason. But you wanna know something? I don't care. We're back at the observatory, so let's do it. Eyes that stare into the endless depths of space. Mm. Tonight, the champion of light will depend on them to pick out a message from the ether. Yes, Dylan, yes. Okay. Not Red Tooth. As history repeats itself, the man remembers the patterns. He knows that he needs the missing part for the telescope. Oh. Find Dr. Meadows' car. That's where the camera should be. I want to go home. Right. Right, right. I believe he does not, they will, they will not want me back there. Okay, got it. Fucking darkness. Can you stop breaking shit? Um, get the imaging array. Oh! Oh! Oh, there's one right over here. There it is. And there's one in here. Where is it? Oh, right there. Okay. I'll take that. Now also, take up much of these. Let me take out the shoddy. Why? Why? Even I know that that uh, that sounded really fucking gay. <coughs> anyway, um, I don't know what I would do in this kind of scenario. Um, that I'll be like the last person, you know, in a time loop. And I'm like the lot, like the only one that knows what to do. Ooh. Oh, there he is. What's good, bitch? <clears throat> there it is. And the next one is right here. Okay. 19 of 20. Well, 19 of 53. A fucking hunting rifle. Uh. Yes? I would love a hunting rifle. Mm-hmm. You wanna drop my hand again? Got it. 20 or 53. Oh. Oh. Imaging ray, nice. Return to the telescope. Because life can't get much worse after this. Oh god.
Ooh. Was good, bitch. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. No what? No what? This is, what's good? I shouldn't need to worry about it too much. Okay, there's a page. There was a page in front of me. Oh, I guess there's a page next to me now. Why? Ooh! Ooh! That was dirty. That was dirty. A carbine rifle. Actually, this will do me much better. Than anything else. And there's a page over here that I want to get. Because life. Okay. And there's some. Oh, there, and there's a page over here too. Sweet. Page. 23 or 53. Okay. It's you. How dare you? No, wait. It isn't you. Is it? No. I... I suppose you'd better come in. I'll... I'll, I'll unlock the door. Thanks. Cool. You know... No, I really don't. You have to forgive me, but this feels very strange. It seems like this has all happened before. I have the replacement part for your telescope, Doctor. I, all right. Uh, let's get it installed. Oh. Oh, wait. Whoa. There's a page right outside. Here we go. I think we can give this a go. Although I have this strange feeling that something Don't will go start wrong. it up yet. The problem with the cooler system. Yes, that's right. I remember. All right, let me think. If they're sabotaging it, they'll be at the primary cooler that I've outside. If you can secure it, we should be ready to pick up the signal. That is why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'll take care of it. Explained a few things. All of this is very strange. <sighs> oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, whoa, okay. Uh, my my thing is still running. Hold on, Let me make sure that that's fucking strange. Yep, my video is still running. Uh, for some reason that it, it just dropped for a second. It just it just well, it didn't close the game. But it just, you know, I went back to my primary, uh, my video, uh, recorder for some reason. Uh, I don't know. Hello. I don't quite know what's going on. Hey, bad girl. I seem to remember having had this encounter before. It's not deja vu, Doctor. This has happened before. We're caught in a time. That's utterly insane. How could that be? No. I can't really explain it. I suppose I could call it magic. I don't believe in magic. Neither do I, but I can't argue with what I've experienced. Listen, what matters now is the signal. The last time we only caught a part of it, I need the rest of it. 
Whether you believe me or not, you want to look into this as much as I do, right? I... yes. <laughs> All right. I realize that you have trouble believing this. That's an understatement. I can't deny that what you say resonates with me on some level I don't pretend to understand. But for all I know, I'm simply delusional. But it's not just you. I've experienced the same thing as you. Doesn't that prove something, at least? Maybe. On the other hand, given your appearance, and the fact that you're trying to convince me that I'm not insane, perhaps you're merely a hallucination that accompanies my delusions. Wow. I'm not having a psychotic episode, Doctor. What it's worth, I'm a skeptic by nature. I completely understand your reluctance to believe me. There are people caught so deep in their psychosis that they retroactively manufacture memories and beliefs that conform to the situation at hand. No shit. Sure, but you have to stop second-guessing yourself at some point if you want to get something done. You know, if... <laughs> <laughs> I just, I should just love a fucking flare at you, and <laughs> at some point you had to realize that I fucked up on some level. I've you fucked up somewhere along the line. Okay, now. Okay. Now there was one outside the gate, literally. So let me pick that up. A combat shotgun. How many forty manuscripts? I have twenty-four. Okay. Okay, let's see how we fare against this. Oh, God. Okay. Don't fuck with me. And he's dead. He's down. Dead things hate the light, am I correct? You should be able to turn on the lights and secure the area that way. Okay. I love the refill stations. That's why you're fucking throwing the sedan at me. I guess they didn't like that. Return to Dr. Meadows. I will. Oh. Can we not? I'm out. 
Oh, that's fucked up. Okay. He's down. I would love the combat shotgun, but I don't have one. Ah, uh, you dicks. Ooh. No extended notification, I'm a bad shot. Sick my dick. Okay. It's working. Please, come up here. I would love to. Okay. Jeez. Oh, oh, I don't need a flashlight for this one. You know, I I would really not find a signal? Yes. I don't think it's quite the same thing we had um the last time. Still, we're definitely picking it up. We're getting the complete signal now. I'm afraid not. Take a look at it yourself. I'm printing out a hard copy now. I'd like to ask you a question or two before that, though, if you don't mind. What's on your mind, Doctor? Most people would find these events extremely disturbing, provided that they survive these creatures, that is. You seem to be quite adept at dealing with this situation. Why is that? Yes, I was involved in... It's a complex story. I was in this small town, and a horrible thing from another dimension kidnapped my wife and manipulated me into writing this horror story that came true. I learned to fight it with light, and I managed to contain it and free my wife, but I was trapped in its world. Damn. Are you serious? Absolutely. So, I'm used to reality working in strange or even impossible ways, and I fought these things, not exactly like this, but close enough for a good while now. Of course, I have certain advantages. Is there anything else? What did you mean when you said you have advantages? At the risk of sounding like a lunatic, reality is much more fluid than people think. It can be influenced. I didn't take you for a mystic. I'm not. I'm a writer. And under certain conditions, I can, for lack of a better word, rewrite reality. Change things. That's absurd. But it works. Assuming I believe this, why didn't you simply... I don't know, write yourself some superpowers. It's not quite that simple. <laughs> you need to follow certain laws of drama, I suppose. You need to think about consistency and symbolism. Often what you write isn't anywhere near as important as what you imply. There are things out there that will take advantage of your mistakes. You really believe in this? Look at me like that. You've experienced some of this yourself. I will gladly admit that something exceedingly strange is going on. Indeed. This idea that you're somehow altering reality with your writing is ridiculous. You're essentially saying you're controlling my actions. Leaving aside the rational arguments against this, what gives you the right? Well, it's more like having a destiny. A path you're on. You're not aware of it, but there it is. If somebody changes it, what difference does it make? It's what every writer does. If you write something that affects one of the characters, they don't really know about that. I'm not a character. Are you saying that it's all right to take advantage of someone if they aren't aware of it? Look, all I meant was that if you're genuinely making all your own decisions, and those decisions lead to whatever destiny you have, what practical difference does it make? I suppose that depends on whether our destinies are determined by things like physics and probabilities, or natural reality, which is presumably Jeez. neutral and impartial, or by some kind of an intelligence. If it's the latter, that intelligence makes choices based on some criteria. 
If we suffer as a result of those choices, there's a moral and ethical element involved, regardless of whether we're aware of its manipulations. Wouldn't you agree? I... You're taking this very well. I thought you'd be angry. I suppose I would be if I thought you could actually do this. The skepticism, good lord. Another printout. Another signal fragment. The message is still not complete, but it's another piece of the weapon he has built against his adversary. Mere words on a piece of paper, but in the right hands, they will hold back the darkness. As you say. Back to the driving. Uh, of course. <laughs> The Night Springs Drive-In Theater. The last time the man came to the drive-in, it did not end well. He hopes to avoid that fate this time. He hopes that what he has brought with him to this place <laughs> is enough. Okay. Another section, and another, another section completed, and another section coming up. Um... Hope everyone enjoyed. This was a lot of fun, but it's time to end off regardless. Next time we come back here, which is tomorrow, we'll be doing more of the... We'll do the theater and see how that plays out for us. If not, then... Fuck me. Anyway, um... Hope everyone did enjoy. Actually, yeah, tomorrow. No. No. Actually, no, not tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is our... A uh, couple hour live stream, so coming in, join in on that. Anyway, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Hope everyone did enjoy. Um, tell me what you guys think down in the comment section below, and uh, how are you liking the story so far, if you even understand it, because I'm not following it neither. For those of you that are have asked about, do you understand the story? No, I do not. <laughs> I don't. Um, I believe there's games before this that need to be played in. in aligned to be able to be understood and I need to you know you know what I mean anyway um, at the last 20 seconds on the left hand side of the screen you guys can see the last episode of Alien Wakes American Nightmare so go check that out if you guys have not also on the right hand side of the screen along with that last episode will be the subscribe button if you guys have not yet hit that and join the dragon Links today because we do something like this every single day so you do not want to miss out on anything i have in store for you guys because there's always something up my sleeve that makes everything fun anyway i hope everyone enjoyed but good gaming happy hunting and i'll see all you dragonlings back inside the world of alan wake i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time